Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday, TGIF, August 26. Hope you all have a fantastic upcoming weekend here. We're approaching the uh, end of summer, so, uh, but also, more importantly, um, as you're watching this, we've been waiting for this big day, uh, Ben Bernanke speech from Jackson Hole. So let's uh, start off with the economic news releases uh, today. And uh, the, one of the big ones we've been also waiting for is the GDP revision. And uh, we start off with the 1.3 because remember it was we figured it was going to be a little bit higher for our second quarter. Uh, it was revised lower to 1.3. Uh, so they estimated um, with the recent numbers that it's going to be even lesser at 1%. And those numbers, they hit it right on the head there. So uh, GDP was revised to a lower mark at 1%. The next one is consumer sentiment. This is uh, another item we really need to kind of keep our eyes on because perception does become reality. If people aren't feeling that the economy is not improving, they're going to be basically holding on to the money, not spending, and basically the economy will slow down. So uh, we had one of the all-time worst since uh, basically 1980. It was the last time we had this number, 54.9, from the previous uh, report. Uh, they figured it would jump up to about 56.5. And it actually went about halfway, so it went up a little bit, but uh, primarily because we, you know, when we had that last reading, it was just right around the time frame of the uh, uh, the debt ceiling crisis we were dealing with uh, with Congress and everything, so that they potentially would have a default. So um, let's kind of move on. Uh, let's see what the headline news and get right to the Jackson Hole uh, speech here. Uh, stock market's up a little bit right now. And Bernanke basically did provide a speech, but he didn't mention no, nothing about stimulus. Basically, he told people that uh, the next Fed meeting that will be on, stuff like that will be, you know, they'll have a meeting at the Fed, and if anything's to be announced, it will be after that Fed meeting. So no news regards to the Fed. And uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bond market, where interest rates are at. Uh, bonds did rebound a little bit. We had a... Kind of opening gap up about 21 basis points. Uh, we were up even 21 and came back down, and now we're about plus six for the day. So we're up about 27 basis points from where we left off yesterday. Uh, we had a little bit of a reprieve yesterday, uh, so to speak. So interest rates are a little bit better today. We're probably about where we were on uh, Monday, uh, where we left off on Monday. So not a huge improvement, but much better than what we have been over the last couple of days here. So, all right, folks, uh, that's about it for today, and we'll uh, touch base again on Monday. Uh, but if you guys are out looking to refinance or looking to buy a home, definitely catch a, catch my other website at uh, CaliforniaMortgageTips.com. There's some great uh, information on there from education for universities, uh, home buyers university, regards to classes on you know, buying your home, the real estate process, the mortgage process, how to improve your credit, to reverse mortgages. If you're looking, if you're looking to downsize, you can actually buy a property with a reverse mortgage uh, for people who are 62 years of age and older. Uh, there's also people regards to credit scores. You don't need to improve the credit scores. There's also free reports. There's mortgage calculators. So take a look at if you're looking to refinance or out looking to buy a new home for those home buyers. You guys have a wonderful day and see you Monday.